What's up, Card Family? Hope you guys are doing awesome. Hope everybody has had a great start to the new year. Um, I just wanted to do this video, show off some new Kirby pickups. I got a pretty big one. And um, just wanted to show off a few others. So first is <clears throat> a really cool TTM return that I got. And I've sent to this uh, player before, Mr. Kent Herbeck. But uh, I'm doing the uh, Battle of the Decades challenge right now, and I'm not as crazy as some of the other TTM guys like Chase and Caleb and them. They're getting, you know, 20 a week or whatever, and I get my two or three, one to three a week, and I'm happy with that. Uh, but I just thought this was really cool. I was trying to figure out what 90s card I wanted to send to Kent, and um, I, I had a bunch of these, and I thought this was perfect. Now, I, it did cross my mind to add this to my Kirby official count, but I don't know if I'm going to. Um, we've had the debate before is if you have a 1987 Donruss and you have a 1987 Donruss that's signed, it's, is it really a different card? Some people say no, some people say yes. The way I look at it is if either the manufacturer or the person depicted on the card make the changes. Uh, for example, the manufacturer, maybe it's a buyback and they stamped it. It counts as a different card to me. Um, or the guy on the card signs it. It's a different card to me, you know, because it, it changes the value. You know, if I sign, if I take a, a Kirby Puckett card and sign my name or write his name or whatever, that makes the card worth nothing. And that's just me being silly. So I, I don't know to me, if the player signs it, it should, it should count as different. Now this is sort of a different story because this isn't Kirby signing it. It's Kent signing it. So maybe as a different uh, card to my Kent Herbeck collection. I don't know. I was thinking about making a video for the super collectors unite channel where I discuss um, what things we count and what things we don't count. But ultimately it's really up to you and and however you want to count your own collection is is okay so that's uh, my view on it but anyways let's get into these kirbys first i got this really cool one from a snodzilla break did a break of chronicles baseball and uh pulled this really cool blue laser mosaic of kirby so Super cool, and it is numbered 95 out of 99. If you know Kirby number cards, this pretty much paid for my break because, you know, this card's probably a $20 card, so. Glad to add that one <laughs> to the fart sound. Now, this next card is one that really wasn't on my, it's a, you know, fairly cheap card. It's a pretty cheap card wasn't really on my radar because <clears throat> I printed off my checklist from trading card database years ago. And at the time that I, that I printed it off, this card wasn't listed uh, under Kirby's checklist. So this is a 94 stadium club, super teams insert the Minnesota twins. And you see Kirby and Kent are featured, uh, but it wasn't, at the point that I printed off my checklist, this wasn't on Kirby's checklist, but came across it and I thought, oh yeah, that's definitely that definitely counts for a Kirby card. So, boom, added that to the count. Uh, since talked to Ground Chuck and he says that it now is on Kirby's checklist, so wanted to show that one because I also got this one. So this is the members only version so as you can see in the bottom left corner by kirby's feet this one here is stamped with the members only stamp so it is indeed a parallel i don't think um there is i don't know if there's other parallels i don't think there's like golden golden rainbow parallel like there was in 94 i'm not sure if there's a first day issue i know this is an insert so it isn't part of the normal base set. 
but yeah, it's pretty cool. A uh, nice affordable graded card of, you know, I wouldn't say a rare card. It's not a rare card by any means, but it's, you know, one you don't see that often. So, and one that definitely, like I said, wasn't on my radar until I kind of came across this one on accident. So, <clears throat> put that there. And then my biggest pickup, um, just glad to have this one. It's a beautiful card, beautiful, beautiful card. And uh, I sold a card recently. I uh, pulled a uh, really nice card out of uh, a blaster box of football. And uh, I got this card here. This is a 1994 Finest Refractor. And man, it is so shiny. So we're going to colazo this bad boy so you guys can see the full extent of the shine. Beautiful, beautiful card. And now I only need the 95 finest to have all of his finest refractors. So I have the 93, the 94. I have, I think there's three 96s of the finest refractors for Kirby, so have all those so this one is a big time ad for me this is a big uh, one of the bigger playing days cards that i had left and so glad to add that one to the fart count <laughs> all right everybody thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time let me know which one of these was your favorite and uh if you have any any um opinions on the what counts for your unique count? Um, let me know in the comments. All right, thanks, guys.